check, check, hello, can you read me? Buck Thunder, fuck, fuck off, it's me, Bill, your divorce attorney. Welcome to Buck Thunder 2, Xeno Slaughter, another Buck Thunder game. Your ex-wife is back and more evil than ever. She's sending a bunch of her new blood-sucking boyfriends out. So go shoot them, just kill them all, Buck, that's, that's the game. Buck, it's me, Phil, your divorce lawyer again. You remember how to move and jump and everything, right? There's shit on the screen that tells you how to do all that stuff. I mean, come on, Buck. All right, Buck, you're gonna have to use the brand new double jump to get over there. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, Buck. I forgot there's no double jump. Just crouch. We gotta try crouching, Buck. Fucking scheduling and scoping bullshit. A fucking crouch prioritized over a double jump. Who is this? Who, who, who are these people above us? All right, that's a good crouch, Buck. That's a good crouch. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Fucking scoping. Stay sharp, Buck. A bunch of your ex wife two alien boyfriends. There they are. That's what I'm talking about, Buck. Kill those fuckers. You're the man. I love you, Buck. It's so fucking cool. Oh, I'm so excited and lit up to be your divorce attorney. You have no idea. Oh, my God, Buck. You did it. You opened the door. You're a fucking genius. You are my favorite client. It's me, by the way. Your divorce attorney. Don't forget, I'm still your divorce attorney. Let's go. Let's get moving. Let's defeat your ex-wife. to mom and dad before they left for their trip. You know they were pissed, right? Whatever, we got the place to ourselves now. Oh my God, don't give me that look, narc. What are you mad that I'm throwing this party tonight? <laughs> it's fine. Mom and dad are gone for a whole fucking week. We can do whatever we want. Here, come on, try some. <laughs> You know it's good for your depression, right? Okay, we're totally gonna rage tonight. I cannot wait. Whoa, 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 it's kicking in. Uh, what is wrong with your face? Uh, so anyways. Ugh, finally, there you are. I felt like I was losing my mind. So, do you want any or nah? Fine, more for me then. All right, I'm gonna go get ready for the party. This stuff's gonna last me all week. It is powerful. Mom told me I was in charge. She did it in secret so it wouldn't hurt your feelings and dad said that he flat out doesn't love you. It was actually pretty messed up. By the way, mom left you a note on the fridge. Go read it. Then come meet me outside. I need your help grabbing party shit from the store. You come in or what?
Come on. I don't want to carry so, it. So, I guess... Holy shit! Oh, what the fuck? Get down and stay quiet. I knew aliens were real. Shun Awalaha, she tell hit down one. Hello, what? Can you understand what they're saying? Oh, shit, look, it's Mr. Pilfrey. He's got that, um, what's it called? Uh, dementia. Uh, what's going on out here? Martha, is that you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What did they just do to Mr. Pilfrey? <laughs> Hola, mi amado. What the fuck is going on? Cho, machita, wana ho. No man de tanda, ula ba giwa la kanga ma. So, no ma dai ta lu si. Hasta ta ba wa. Isa, uke ka wa. Wuhan. chip out of me. It's the metal thing stuck in me. Just pull oh, it out. What the fuck is that? Oh, that feels so much better. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about the spit. I I, I needed to get you infected with the translator microbes. That, that, that's sort of how it works. I guess you guys don't have those here yet. Listen, my name's Kenny. I'm a Gatlian. Uh, we, we gotta kind of, we gotta oh, move. What is it? Is it talking to you? Maybe we should go back to the Ignore house. Ignore her. It's very important that you listen to everything I say. Okay, it is your lucky day right now. We can survive this together if you just listen to me. These three guys are going to turn your whole species into drugs. Can you handle a gun? Because, you know, I'm kind of a gun, and if you don't use me to kill those G3 grunts, you, you know, they're going to fucking kill us. Fuck yeah, there we go. All right, first kill. I am so glad you picked me up. Keep going! Not bad, alien! Not bad at all! Let's head to that base! Well, here you go! It's a G3 warp base! Get us some clean house and warp out of here! Hope I didn't miss the party! Oh shit, it's a merc! They're tough merc! It's letting human into the base! Nice! You, you, you know, you had to kill them, right? It was either them or you, and me as well, and, and I, I, I would prefer to live. You know, and I have a voice here. I have a choice in this. Okay, the warp drive should be at the top. That's why no one can get like this. Just keep going. Keep going up. Fuck yeah. Now grab the warp truck. We'll use this to warp the hell off this dude's planet. Sorry, no offense. I don't mean to upset you, but yes, your planet is doomed right now. Okay, listen, don't worry about the beeping. The beeping's fine. It's just, it's gonna blow up soon. We just need to plug this thing into power. Do, do you have something down to your house? That, you know, do you live in one of these huts around here? Hey, yes, yes. We gotta move. We gotta move. Move, move, move. And bring me up close to your face. You can better. I'm done with you. Perfect, perfect. Now just go down the sights. It's fine. You're doing great, but... Shit! Oh, thank God it worked! Okay, it, 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 it's 
just gonna need a second to boot up this my name is Omnatris, leader of the G3 Cartel. Don't resist. Any attempts to fight us will be futile. You are now officially the property of the G3 Cartel. All right, it's go time. Let's get out of here. Wait, get out of here? Where are we going? To find somebody who can come. You ever been to the big city? Because you're about to, except that it's a space city. It's a huge space city, and you're gonna be out of your element! And you better just follow my lead! What... what just happened? Looks like we made it. Welcome to Blim City! Did you just warp our entire house to another planet? Yeah, keep up! We'll be safe here! Now take me outside! Whoa, whoa, you're just gonna leave me here in... in what? Space? Are we... are we in space? Yes. You're going out there? Into space? Yeah! Welcome to fucking space! So, this is Blim City. Not not bad, huh? I don't know how we're gonna find Gene, though. Let's just ask around. There's all kinds of aliens out here. Let's just... let's just ask. He, he is famous. Hey, we're looking for Gene Zaruthi and the Bounty Hunter. Any idea where he might be? Who? N no! Do you know how many freaking people live here? And you expect me to know this... this guy? No. No, no, of course not. Okay, not everyone's gonna be helpful. Hey, uh, we're looking for Gene Zaruthian. I'm not sure, maybe you could help? Oh, I wish I knew where he was. He owes me like 300 pesos. Huh, that doesn't sound like Gene Zaruthian to me. Excuse me, do you have any idea where Gene Zaruthian is? What? That's my name. I'm Gene Zaruthian. But why would you... Oh, wait. You're probably thinking of the famous bounty hunter with the same name as me. Sorry. I'm just some loser accountant. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, excuse me. Does the bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian live around here? The bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian? <laughs> uh, you must be confused. Uh, uh, please go. What did you mean by that? Sorry, shot in the dark here, but are you familiar with the Gene Zaruthian? Who? Oh yeah, he's he's homeless. He's sleeping on a bench right nearby. I just walked past him earlier. I'm really glad I could be so helpful. What? Really? Uh, okay, well, thank you. Good, fuck him. Let's go. Y you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just taking a quick outdoor nap in between big bounty hunting gigs, you know? So I guess Gene's sleeping on a bench near here? You know what, I bet the guy on the bench isn't Gene. It just doesn't really make sense to me. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I was thinking you'd have like a big bounty hunting office, you know, we could visit and, you know, a bunch of cool bounty related things and, uh, hello? Get away, they'll take my shit. Oh my God, it, it can't be. What do you want? Y you're not the famous bounty hunter Gene Zaruthian, are you? Who's asking? You're, you're really Gene. Yeah, I'm really Gene. That's me, like on the ads. Disappointed? Guess how I feel. Uh, okay, well, whoopsies. Huh. We were gonna ask for your help fighting the G3 cartel, but... Kid, do I look like I can help anyone? I just got evicted. I don't even have a goddamn home. Can, can you point us in the direction of, you know, a, a, a bounty hunter friend that's still working, you know, still has their legs? Ho, 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 ho. Look at that nice house. God damn, where'd that come from? That's a great fucking house. You see that house? Huh? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, th that's this hairy alien's house, the one holding me. Ah, oh, damn. Can't stop looking at that beautiful house. Uh, yeah, okay. The gears are turning. Maybe I can help you. You can? Uh, but you just said... Maybe the... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I said I'd help you fight the... Who, who'd you say? The, the G3 cartel? Oh, yeah. Look, <laughs> come on, that's crazy, but... Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 sure. We'll, we'll kill them all. Easy. <laughs> I've got a fully operational bounty suit in my cart over there. Really? Well, that's kind of, that's convenient. Yeah, I could turn that hairy kid of yours into a true blue bounty hunter. But if they die, I want the house. That's the trade. Are you sure? I don't think they've even fired a gun before today. 
And, and wait, wait you, you want the house in return? Yeah. This is a great deal for you. I mean, you get all my old bounty hunter shit and I might get a house. I, I don't know. Enough talking. J just be a gun for a second. You, Harry kid, put on the suit. See how you feel. Then make a decision, yeah? I can always just pawn this shit off. Okay, g go ahead, try it on. What choice do we have? Wow, you look great, kid. A natural. <laughs> Definitely not gonna die on your first bounty. All right, I guess we'll give it a shot, but I, I don't know about this. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. It's still in trial mode. I pawned off the activation license. The ticket should be in one of your pockets. Some loose change, too. Should be enough. Take that down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop, and he'll get you all set up. The suit will help you get there. Hey there, Gene Zaruthian. It's me, Pseudo, your helpful bounty hunting assistant. Before I enable mobility, I just need to make sure your info scanner is online. Can you go ahead and give the area a quick scan for me? Okay, perfect. Great job. I've identified your current objective. Head on down to Mr. Keep's pawn shop. Can you... Perfectamundo, everything is in working order. Mobility unlocked. You are free to move, Gene. All right. I'll get things set up at your house while you're gone. Ooh, oops, sorry about all those pop-ups. I forgot to warn you about that. Um, you can close them with the interact button, but they are going to keep coming back nonstop. Uh, that's just going to keep happening until you activate the license. Sorry, you better hurry up. Uh, okay, let's just head to Mr. Keeps, I guess. You, you able to see okay? Sorry, I, I didn't expect Gene to be like that. I think Mr. Keep is just ahead. You, you got this. I wonder what kind of bounty hunting equipment Gene is setting up for us, huh? It's kind of exciting, you know, sort of. It could be cool. What's up, Freak? Sure. Greet the customer properly. Welcome to Mr. Keep's dipshit. We're your friendly neighborhood pie shop. Buy something or don't, nobody even cares. Jorb! I'm so sorry. Jorb is insane. Come on up to the counter. Let me help you out. Oh, so old Zaruthian doesn't feel like pawning his license key anymore. What? Did he win the sweepstakes? Ha! Okay, so you want this license key. But, but it's really nice. I kind of want it for myself. You've got enough useless shit, Dad! Fine, take it! It's yours! Okay, fuck yeah! Activation license accepted. Bounty hunting suit is in perfect working order. Time for an important question. Would you like to keep me on as your permanent in-suit advisor? That was the best choice you could have made. All right, bye-bye now. I'll be back. A uh, bunch. Whoa, not bad. It's got your vital readings, armor levels, even my biometrics. Gene really came through, didn't he? I told you he'd be great. Perfect. Just what this galaxy needs. Another good-for-nothing bounty hunter. Out of my star! All right, bounty hunter. I guess let's head back to the house and check in with Gene. You'll find it. You'll figure it out. Hey, you can run, you know. You, you, I don't know if you do that. Try hitting the button on your screen. I, I can't say the name of the button, because I have no fucking clue what kind of controller or keyboard you're using. There's, there's little guys coming out of your house. That, okay. Hey! 
Nice house you got here. Real ritzy. Way better than my bench. Oh, wow, you really made yourself at home, huh? Oh, there you are. Who's this weirdo, and why is he setting up a fucking huge alien computer in our living room? Okay, first of all, that alien computer is a very expensive and surprisingly operational Bounty 5000. So, uh, you're welcome. Oh, what 5000? Your kid here thinks they're gonna be a big bad bounty hunter. I set them up with some fancy equipment, so they're letting me have the house when they die. Kid? They're not my kid. I'm their sister. How old do you think I am? Listen, Hairball, I don't know what kind of alien you are or how fast you age. I'm just making my best guesses here. You were only gone five minutes, and you already told some random alien he could move in with us. That's what you did. Look, I know it's a lot all at once, but we need him to save your species. So, do you think you could put up with him for a bit? Well... So what, we just jump into the deep end and start hunting down G3 officers, or, or what? I'm not sure you're ready just yet. I mean, they don't let you fuck the glumpers at glumpies without a level 4 fuck pass, do they? Uh, what? I, I, I don't know. Well, they don't. Maybe I should send you out on a little test run first, eh? Uh, okay, sure. I've got just the thing. A small-time local gangster by the name of Nine Torg. She took my favorite knife. She's got an operation out in the slums. Maybe you kill her and get my knife back. <laughs> then we'll talk. Maybe take you out to Glumpy's to celebrate. All right, so we, we just head out to the slums? No, moron. You gotta use the Bounty 5000 to initiate a bounty. That's what I went through all the trouble of setting it up for. Okay, Jesus! Uh, so bounty hunting, huh? Are you really going to kill people? Actually, we, we've killed a couple people already, you know? And so did you? So soon we forget? Fine, I guess I'll just hang around at home and wait for you to do all your little murders. Are you mad at us or jealous? Uh, jealous? I want to kill evil aliens too. You're gonna use the body- Go ahead, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll go see what the drinking age is here in space. Normally, that door would open up a gateway that lets you walk right through it. So what do we do? Calm down. The bounty's right here in Blim. You mind just heading out on foot? The slums gateway ain't too far from here. I'll get the Bounty 5000 all fixed up while you're gone. Yeah, sure. All right, l let's go, Bounty Hunter. Don't forget to get my knife! We're looking for the gateway to the slums, I guess. Look, it shouldn't be too far. L listen, just follow the waypoint. That's why you're wearing that fancy suit, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's got the augmented reality thing on it, right? Hey, well, don't shoot the hook bug. That's probably somebody's pet. Concerns. Murder rates are on the rise. The city's water supply has clearly been poisoned again by Gary the Poisoner. And Ships that we put in our elderly citizens have once again backfired, this time making them far. Hey! Don't even think about Hey, uh, Kit, uh, excuse me, can we get our, uh, we need to make our way into the slums, please? No. Hold on! So you really want to get into the slums, huh? Then settle the bet for us. Oh, come on, come on, don't, don't, don't make him answer this one. No, round. I want to know! It's fine, we'll, we'll help. Okay, great. If you saw us at the bar, which of us would you ask out? Uh, the blue guy. Exactly. That's what I figured you'd say. Yeah, everyone always says him. Hey, don't feel bad, man. You're still plenty hot. I'm just hotter. Blue's a hotter color. That's that's science. I know. I know. I know. I just I just wish one time someone would say I'm hotter. You know, I put so much work in. I watched all those skin and hair tutorials, and I got surgery, so I don't have to poop anymore. That's your problem. It should be effortless. Everyone can sense all that desperation, all the sadness. It's just radiating from me. Me, I'm just true blue, all natural hot, baby. Is it true? Am I, am I just really a lost cause? Be honest. Well, hold on. 
We take it back. The red one's actually hotter. What? Are you fucking with me? Oh my god. Thank you. I, I am so happy. I, I, I really feel like I'm gonna cry right now. Hey, you can't change your mind like that. It's unfair and it's also stupid because I'm way hotter. You just made a lifelong enemy, pal. Hop in and out of the slums at your leisure. It's on me. I, I'm, I'm just so grateful you think I'm, I'm hotter. You know what? Please, please use my door. Use my door anytime you want. Are you serious? That is fucking amazing. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, well, you can't use my door, that's for sure. Dream on! You just lost any chance of ever getting to use my door. Oh, uh, well, that's fine. I think we handled that as best we could, you know? I've never been topside. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's a topsider. Not interested. Hey, oh my god, I broke my fucking leg coming down that pipe. Be careful. Sorry to hear that. Well, well, <laughs> look what we got here. Fresh meat. Hey whoa, 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 what are you doing? Meat. Come on, he's just a kid. Don't shoot him. Oh, you don't want to shoot me just because your gun said not to. Just because you're your little gun. Oh, but you look, look how shootable I look. I look so shootable. What's I'm not shooting a kid. Go ahead. Do it. Shoot me, fresh meat. Shoot me. See what happens. Oh, don't I look so shootable? Look at me. You can shoot me. Attention, city you citizens. You are wearing an unregistered bounty. Shit. We gotta take down these drones. Oh, shit, fresh meat. Oh, am I supposed to be impressed? You shot all the drones? I could have done that with my eyes closed. Fuck you. Hey, get back here. Fresh meat. I'm not done with you. You must have met my son. He calls everyone fresh meat. Thanks for not shooting him. Things have been really hard since his annoying dad got shot and killed. It's been hard because even though my annoying husband is gone, my son is still so annoying too. So go ahead and kill him if you really want to. I'm not gonna stop you. I'd love to not have any annoying family members left. You can't pass through here. It's Nine Torg's turn. Jesus, enough with everyone getting in our way. We just want to kill Nine Torg. Yeah, right. You kill Nine Torg. Get lost. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh, shit. Death on your ass. oh shit! Here we go. We're gonna have to kill some of these Torg foot soldiers to prove ourselves around here. These people think we're weak. Not on my watch. <laughs> Shit, they're shooting at us! Come shoot back! Come on, shoot back! Information I could. Hello there, friend. Can I help you? Uh, you're a wise old fisherman. Can you tell us a little bit about Nine Tor? Quiet. She's got ears everywhere. Or antennae. Whatever ants here with. Is she really that dangerous? Come on. I mean, she's just one gang lord. Just one? <laughs> what about the other eight Torgs? Wait, so the nine and nine Torg is... it's a counter? There's nine Torgs? Nine clones, yep. And that's just what's left. There used to be even more of them, but they always kill each other. Fighting for dominance over what? This hellhole? <laughs> this month, nine Torgs in charge. Last month, it was 14 Torg before they killed her. Now, nine Torgs fighting with five Torg. It never ends. Which one do you prefer? Uh, eight Torg is the hottest. Do you know how we can get to Nine Torg? Buddy, all I know is fish, and I barely know fish. But let's just pretend there's a laundromat you can sneak through to get to Sludge Works over there. Are we pretending, or is there really a laundromat? Come on, kid, take the hint. Either we're pretending, or Nine Torg's goons kill me for squealing. Okay, I got it. We're pretending. Oh, crap. 
Christ, just follow that path along the sludge. So, uh, what exactly are you doing out here? What? I'm fishing. You can tell I'm fishing, right? Oh, right. Duh, of course. Of course. Sorry. That, it's, it's very obvious. Yes. So, ha have you caught anything? No. Never have, never will. No fish can live down here in this sludge. If there aren't any fish in there, why are you fishing? What's, what is that? What's going on? Because I'm still working up the courage to drown myself. Yikes. Wow. Okay. TMI, maybe. A little bit. So, uh, how do you like living down here in the slums? It's sort of colorful down here, at least. What? Are you serious? This is one of the worst places anyone can live. You can't see that just by looking at it. It's more sludge than anything else, and the sludge is toxic. Oof, sorry. Yeah, that sludge does look pretty awful. No, the sludge is the best part. It's the quickest way out. Just hop in there, and you got a one-way ticket out of here. Imagine if we didn't have the sludge. Then we'd really be trapped. Anyway, yeah, living here is bad. Hey, thanks for the info, uh, wise fisherman. We'll see you later. Have a good day now. Oh, hey, you want to see a cool party trick I used to do? Amy at the oh, fuck yeah, I told you. Did you see how fun that was? I call it my clock shot. It comes out of my trick hole. All Gatlians have a different kind of trick hole. My mine does this. Well, you are running a lot today, aren't you? Yes! Oh, oh my god, I can do this all day. Doesn't this fucking rule? God, I love spewing big gloopy globs. Oh, that's a love locks over there. There's usually some good loot inside, but we need some kind of sharp device to open it. without something really I got an idea. It's another trick up my little slimy sleeve. Try hitting him with my glob shot. Take your time and aim right. Whoa, perfect shot! You fucking nailed it! How sick was that? Whew, okay. I gotta recharge. It doesn't take too long, but it's a little longer than the enemies nearby. You know, my, my, my body gets too tense. It's, it's like trying to piss when someone's watching, you know? This has to be the way to Nine Court. Well, let's keep moving. Oh, that's a lug lock, so. Hey, careful with the merchants. Whoa, 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 hold up a bit. Let's listen. Line up and everything. They're gonna be here any minute. Just, just patient. Oi, fuck you! I'm sick of this. I wanna tear through someone's guts. Oh, I think they're talking about Jean's knife. Ah, fuck you! Got it, freak. We've had enough of your bullshit. Yeah. Huh? Who's there? Who are you? Uh, hey, hello there, friends. Oh, I, I think it's the buyer. Hey, are you the buyer? Uh, yeah, we're here to, uh, buy, buy a knife? You guys are selling a knife, yeah? Oh, perfect. You're really late. We were starting to get worried. Just go with it. No shooting. All right, here's the product. 
A genuine talking knife. I gotta be honest with you. He's a real piece of shit. He's extremely violent. He basically only talks about wanting to kill people in very disturbing ways. Fuck you. I'm gonna carve out your anal cavity. Gonna make it three times as big. Your shit's just gonna drop right out of there. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Oh, a perfect... Oh. Fuck yes, thank you! Pleased to meet you, I'm Knifey! Now use me, use me! Let me- Oh, fuck yes! More, more, I need more stabbing! Hey you, listen, point me at your raw fleshy little tummy and jab me right into there! Let's get all those guts torn up! Let's see that fucking red goop spill out! I can't stop now! Oh, uh, that's a pass for us! Is this really the knife Gene was talking about? Gene? Did you just say Gene? Okay, change of plans. Bring me to Gene, so I can fucking decapitate him! Wait, what? Why? He sent us to rescue you! Oh, that's rich. There's no way I'm forgiving him, though, for leaving me with that fucking Nine Torg. He's dead to me! Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her! Oh, perfect! Finally, we're on the same page! Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene! Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability! I'm more than just a knife, you racist! I can tether too! Look up and latch on! Yeah, there we go! Fucking cool, right? You gotta use me to swing across this sludge! What the fuck are you doing? Did you hear me? I'll help you swing off that bug! Oh, fuck! Yeah, not as good as stabbing, but still pretty good. Well, all right. Where, where to next? The Sludge Works processing plant. Nine Talk was talking about some traitor she had to deal with. Probably another one of her clones. Five Talk or Six Talk or whatever. I don't know. There's too many now. There's too many Talks. How many clones are there? Who the fuck cares? Stop thinking so hard and just look for the big Sludge Works sign. I want to stab somebody. I can open those fuckers up real good! And there's loot inside for you too! Win-win! Yes! So you uh, mentioned that Gene gave you to Nine Torg? Cave? Try gamble me away in a game! Space poker? That sack of shit! Can't wait to stab all three of his fucking eyes! Even the wonky one! Especially the wonky one! Hate that one! <laughs> Okay, feed me that Gatterall, baby. Come on, put it in my little mouth. Feed me the Gatterall. What's wrong with you? Mama, mommy, uh, that's the stuff. Oh, sludge works. Night torch should be here.
came over me there. I think I got caught up in the moment or something, but hey, good work, team. Let's go get Nine Torque. Any last words, Five Torque? Is that Nine Torque talking? Fuck off! I've always said you were the worst Torg. You know, Seven Torg said the same thing right before I killed her. Damn you! And you're next. You got this! pretty good. I, I, I really didn't know if we'd be able to pull it off. All right, it's time. Time for what? Time to carve out a piece of her. I'm thinking we go with a full slab of thigh meat, but since it's your first, I'll let you pick. Jesus, are you are you kidding? What kind of... Oh, God, I can't look. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Oh, she's a gusher. Have just taken, like, a fingernail, some spit, uh, maybe a blood sample? Yeah, sure. Could have, I guess. Hey, I'm Five Torg. Thank you for killing my evil clone. I don't mind if you mutilate her corpse, really. It's fine. You did such a good job. That was, like, off the hook. You're not gonna take over and end up being just as evil as Nine Torg, right? Oh, uh -huh. don't worry. Things are gonna be a lot different around here. So, no more crime, then? Oh, not that different, then. Technically, all of us Torgs are evil clones, so I'm still gonna do a bunch of crime. But we're cool. Huh. As far as I'm concerned, you're a friend of the Torg family and welcome here anytime. An honorary Torg. You can be ten Torg. Now, if you'll excuse me, my day just became very full. Are you gonna be okay if we just kind of leave you hanging up there? Oh, 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 well, hey, hey, what are you doing? Are you gonna be okay if we just kind of leave you hanging up there? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I can get down just fine. Hanging from ropes feels nice for my species. It, it's good for our backs. And I'm actually the one who put myself here. All right, let's go home and turn in our first bounty. Hey, you know, that was some pretty solid bounty hunting back there. I mean, don't, don't get too cocky about it or anything, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. 
That was some good killing. And I'm somewhat of a killing expert, actually. I can't wait to see Gene's face when he sees we pulled this off. Let's head back up through the slums tunnel. <laughs> even bothered attacking us. I almost feel bad. What's it like up there? You gotta tell nope. me. Nope, calm down, not, nope. Oh, you're back. Hey, yeah, my leg's still very broken. Welcome back to my amazing place. S you look, you looking for a new sidekick? Time in the slums. Come visit any time. Just don't talk to me. The mandatory sexual suppression that we put in our elderly citizens have once again backfired. This time making them far, far hornier than ever. However, there's something plaguing our city far worse than any of those things. Boy, you are always in some kind of rush, aren't you? I'm not judging. I'm just, just, just observing. Huh? Why is the door closed? Over here. What's up? Who is it? You got my munchdash delivery? What? No, it's us. Oh shit. Really? Good job. Oh, hold on. Is that Gene? Okay, get ready. I want you to stab me right into his fat little belly. Wait, you, you sound like you can't beat my voice. If I'm with someone for a couple of seconds, it just happens. You start What the hell, Gene? He installed new locks because he assumed you'd get killed. He keeps saying it's his house now. What? No. I just took the liberty of upgrading your security. Did you really kill Nine Talk, though? Yeah, we actually did. Well, well, well. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm really blown away. I'll be honest with you. I expected you to die. Oh, thank you. So, what did it feel like killing Nine Talk? Look, I gotta be honest, it felt good. It felt great. I mean. Hey, Gene, lift up that shirt and expose your soft little belly for me. I'm coming in hot. Yes. Forgot how psycho he was. Why don't you just, uh,. Hold on to him for now. Oh, sure, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep him far away from you. Yeah, thanks. Now, uh, go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. I got it all set up for you. No, seriously, let me stab him. Well, there you go. You're a real bounty hunter now. Huh, would you look at that? I, I guess we're really doing it. Yeah. I didn't expect you to get your footing so quick. I don't even have any leads on any G3 bounties. You are, uh, serious about going after them, huh? You bet. Well, we'll take them all down, including Garmantuous. Well, you're welcome to try, and if you do, you might want to go to the pawn shop and buy back the Dodge unit I pawned off. Forgot to tell you about it. Go scrounge up some pesos and buy that, or whatever else tickles your fancy. I'll have some G3 bounties ready for you by the time you get back. Sure, sounds good. Thanks, Gene. Just maybe next time don't assume we're just gonna die. Right. Got it. Hello, and welcome to Human TV, your number one choice for the scariest human movies fresh off. You're really gonna need that Dodge unit from the pawn shop. Your horrific homo sapien host, human. What, while you were off murdering a gang lord in the slums? How is it down there? Any cool shops, or is it just sort of depressing? Everyone up here just makes the slum sound really depressing. I'm probably just gonna not go down there, to be honest. But it is pretty crazy you killed a gang lord. And she was a woman, though. Not very feminist of you to kill a woman in power. Look, I know Mr. Keeps annoying, but you gotta put up with him and buy back that Dodge unit. Okay, fine. You don't want to go to the pawn shop? Well, I'm not doing any more research on the G3 until you do. Jump into my brain!
You might have the old Dodge unit that goes with this bounty suit. Oh, yeah, we got that. Why? You want it? I want it too. So it'll. All right, there you uh, go. Yeah, One yeah, Dodge no. unit. Have a nice life. All right, we got it. Let's try this bad boy out and then head back to Gene. You got the Dodge unit. So how about it? Think you're ready for the big leagues, kid? What, what do you mean? The big league! The G3 cartel! That's the next step, taking down their head officers. Okay, um, are you, you're positive that we're ready for that? Yeah, whatever. Might, might as well try. But they won't be pushovers like Nine Talk, so, uh... Well, to be honest, I don't care if you live or die. You know that. You know my whole deal. But, uh, hey, it's your funeral. So go check out the Bounty 5000 whenever you're ready. Hey, bounty hunter! Got two G3 leads for you right now. Krubus and Douglas. You can pick which one you want to let kill you first. Zephyr Paradise. Gorgeous, huh? Howdy! I'm Quinn the Drake! Welcome to Zephyr Paradise! Oh shit! A G3 Grenton. Okay, now the cartel knows we're here. Whoa, bro! Never mind! Listen, if any part of you is feeling bad about killing these little mice, don't! Uh, leading scientists look into it and, uh, they, they have no questions. They, you know, they're just like, I don't know, what do you have on your planet? Like, fish? Does that, did that translate right? Translator microbes! Oh, these things! Okay, do you know what fan plants are? You shoot the little bud and then the... Okay, yeah, you, you figured it out. Humor, just to lighten the mood, you know. Oh, a purple den. Oh man, you, you, you know, you actually have a lot in common with these guys. You know, aside from all the hair, you know, you're both being sold as drugs to, for aliens to get a high off of. You know, you guys. What are you heartless? No, we're not shooting one. I'm putting my foot down. Jeez, I didn't want to embarrass them back there, but that tunnel reeks of Fergal shit. Oh shit, okay, G3, we're walking in. Fight! You, you need a pep talk?
haven't admitted it first, but fine, you know, you got me. We, 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 we're good together here. This is great. Stay back. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a G3. They enslaved our whole village. I don't know what to do. I think we can help. Really? Thank you. It sucks so much watching everyone you know getting enslaved. Try launching that Merc with the fan plant. Okay, shit, that village is swarming with cartel guys. How, how, how do you want to deal with this? Moplets, native to this planet. Our tribe is forever in your debt. Our leader would like to speak with you. Oh, okay, sure. Hello there, savior. My people were enslaved by the G3 and forced to desecrate the land mining for Fergals. You may have freed this small tribe, but our brethren underground are still being worked to death by Krubis. Krubus! You know, we're actually looking for him to kill? What's this? You aim to take down Krubus of the G3? You are truly a hero to Moplets everywhere! Yeah, yeah, sure! Uh, where is he? We'll, we'll get rid of him for you! Hmm. That's difficult to answer. His work, though evil, keeps him very busy. He oversees many different minds across Zephyr, and it's impossible to predict where he may be on any given day. My liege, what about the man in the mansion? Ah, of course, a brilliant plan. My advisor is right. There's a man nearby who knows Krubus and has access to a warp device. We may be able to use him. He lives in a mansion across the river. 
if you could get your hands on his warp device. That could be very useful. Okay, sure. A guy in a mansion. That, 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 that's the plan? Yes. He would appear to be our best chance. Godspeed, savior. Why were you guys all imprisoned? The G3 are a cruel bunch. They did tests on us to see if we could trigger psychedelic reactions like a drug. But when we proved useless in that regard, they put us to work mining Fergals instead. Man, good God, you know, you, you, you just can't win. You're either a drug or you're a slave, I guess. Yes, and those poor Fergals, so helpless. They're making us destroy their lives, their habitats. It's so gruesome. Basically, our lives are super fucked. It's, uh, it's not good. But you freed us. Everything changes now. C can you tell us a little more about Krubus? I've only come face to face with him a few times, but he's, he's an irritable one, that Krubus. I think he resents having to manage the mines. Probably would prefer doing something a bit more glamorous. And he takes all his frustrations out on us. Oh man, I'm sorry. Sadly, there's nothing that can be done about it. Unless you kill him, that would do the trick. What's the guy in the mansion like? Oh, his name is Ranchi Delarma. He warped in not too long ago. Seems to be old acquaintances with Krubus. We haven't dealt with him much, but he seems to have a penchant for Fergals. Oh, God, he's a drug addict. Nonetheless, we may be able to use that to our advantage. He does have close ties with Krubis, after all, and he seems a bit disoriented. Right, because of the drugs. A and he's evil still, right? Well, yes, he's evil, so it should be morally just. Yes, let's all just agree right now that it's morally just to manipulate him. I love it when we can agree. Hey, thanks for your help. Very well. I'm 
see a warp device on you. Come on, is Krubus making you hoof it around on foot? Oh, that cheapskate bastard. Same old Krubus. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Here, I... Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, hey, you made it. You got my fresh Fergals? What? Yeah, this is the guy we're looking for. Don't let anyone ever tell you Ranchi's not a generous fella. Okay? There's an unused warp disc in there. You know, warp in whatever's on there. I don't care. It's free of charge. There's a river near here. You can probably cross with it. Oh, man. Go nuts. <laughs> Warpaholics. <laughs> wow. Th thank you. 
How much money does this guy have? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that because of this room. I, I'm thinking maybe a heist. Really? I don't smell anything. It smells just fine in here. Playground of the new Delarmo Land Resort. Yeah, I'm that ranchy Delarmo, CEO, Delarmo Industries. This one's. All right. Okay, we got a warp device. Um, you know that's gonna be helpful. Why don't we use it to cross this river so we can go talk to the Moplets and check in with them? Looks like they're working on fixing this portal. You know, hey, maybe we can use it later, you know? Okay, uh, let's use this warp device Ranchy gave us to cross the river, huh? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. I'm back. Uh, looks like you're trying to use that new warp device. Face you just got. You want me to help you out? That fun? Okay, see you later. I'm diving right back into these old porn archives. Even AI can jack off. Shit, nice work. You know, we can use this base as a bridge. Come on, fucking move. Hey, where do you want me to fucking go? Huh? You want I should just disappear on the fucking traffic? Hey! Holy shit, where the fuck are we? Hey, who gives a shit? You want to check in with the Moblet leader? Because, you, you know, hey, that's kind of what we're supposed to do right now. the man in the mansion. Ranchy? Yeah, that guy has serious problems, but he gave us this warp device. By the gods, you've done it. You got the warp device. This might actually work. You continue to provide us with hope, Grand Savior. With this warp device, you can warp Krubus directly to you. How fortuitous. But alas, you'll need his coordinates and a blank warp disk to encode them onto. Hmm. Oh well, no way you're getting those. That stuff's in the mines. We could just go down there and get it right now. Oh right. Take this access code and head down to the mines. Everything you need is there. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You know, you, you guys figured out that whole plan for us. You know, that really means a lot. You know, it clears things up for, for us, you know, anyway. Yep, uh, we'll, we'll get it done. Let's use the passcode. Nice! Jeez, are the G3 even trying to domesticate the local mites?
Is this the entrance to the mines? Jesus, they really fucked this place up. I didn't know it had gotten this bad. These guys just don't let up, do they? Oh shit, Grimpton's. Gotta be honest, uh, you know, they're, they're working for the G3, but still better than our friend from earlier. This is. Let's get to work. that money for. Attention, mining Operation 12C. It's me, Krupus. Speed things up! I'm fucking underwater here trying to keep things on schedule. And I figured, maybe you... Mining up 
Lucy, this is Kumas again. One of you weird moblet fucks just delivered me a batch of defective Virgos. You wanna know how I know they're defective? Because they're fucking dead! Looks like most of them got crushed in a cave-in. And I punished the moblets responsible, but it looks like they died in the cave-in too. Don't let it happen again. Um, I, I am. I am the new boss. Absolutely. Yeah, right. You're not, honey. <laughs> That's funny, though. I like when the new hires have a sense of humor. <laughs> Let's get y'all set up. Head on into the next room and find a place to work. Go on without me. I haven't left this chair in years, and I don't... Oh, thank God they're here. Hey, you must be the new office clerk, right? Just sort through that paperwork for us. We're so sorry. Uh, sure. Uh, yes. I will see what I can do. Oh jeez, okay, this is more paperwork than I anticipated. All right, better get to work. So, we still good for Hyper Feast later? What kind did you say again? Uh, Zork. Oh, yeah. Zork totally works. Hey, newbie, you know Hyper Feast? They create new life in front of you and you get to eat it alive? Shit's wild, man. Hyper Feast. <laughs> See there, girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. We're dating. Oh my god, I'm going insane. I'm going fucking nuts. What? Yeah, uh, God, I think my brain's breaking. I, I think the wind is gone. And got done! Finally! Yeah, uh, God, I think my brain's breaking. I, I think doing this job is making my brain break completely. Oh, yeah, me too, me too. It's fine. You don't mind your brain breaking? Well, you don't mind the, this fucking monotonous nightmare work? No, no, it's nice. It's cool to just give into a broken brain. I can't do math anymore. And if I stay here another year, I think I'll forget how to say three-syllable words. Okay, that honestly doesn't sound so bad. It's not bad. Terrific. Fantastic. Amazing. Three words I won't be able to say next year, so savor them now. Oh, buddy, I will. You know, I, I kind of don't mind this at all. All in a day's work. Glad we got that all done. There, are, there definitely is not going to be a third stack. Ah, the cold sting of irony. Is, is that ironic? I, I never really know. Hey, what time did we say for Hyper Feast again? Uh, are you listening to anything? We said Zor. Zor Gut. I just remembered I had something going on at Zord. Holy shit, I, I am, I'm gonna blow my fucking brains out. What? Oh, I didn't see you there. Do you, do you still sit here? So funny. Yeah, this is still my spot. Oh, okay, we're done. No more paperwork. Did you hear me? I said no more paperwork. Not even a fourth stack. Okay, good. God damn, you filled out those papers like a son of a bitch. 
like a real bitch you are. Fuck you. You're, you're promoted. You're free to go into Kruvis's office. Why? Because fuck you. That's why I don't need a fucking reason. I'm Boss McBossington. And I'll be in here jerking off or whatever. Fucking other stuff too. I don't, I don't give a shit. Oh, I didn't see it there. Do you, do you still sit here? Funny. Yeah, this is Huh? So this must be Krubus's office. There's gotta be something here we can use. Krubus, where are you? This is Garmantuous. I just checked the log and you're three days behind schedule with the latest shipment. But you know what? It's not that big of a fucking deal. These Fergals aren't gonna be worth shit now that we discovered humans. Might even have to shut this whole operation down just to get all hands on deck over on Earth. I'd give your territory to the Scrandle Brothers and have them expand their facilities to find out more about these humans. Oh, have you tried one of these fuckers yet? Oh, God, the high? It's otherworldly. Can't believe a species like this really exists. Humans! <laughs> Who'd have even thought? Anyway, don't fuck up again, even if it doesn't matter, or I'll smoke you myself. Oh, would you look at that? He, he marked his coordinates on the calendar. Shit. All right, now we just need a blank warp disk to encode this on. I wish I could promise you I won't kill you, but I'm definitely gonna kill you! What, 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 what's going on? Ah, don't, don't get me in trouble. No, no, it's okay. We're friends. We, we hate the G3, too. Oh, wonderful. Thank God. So, what's your plan? We have started a resistance. Not only do the G3 enslave us, but they have desecrated our holiest of sites and absconded with our sweet prince. Prince Chosen One, that's, that's him, Prince Chosen Oh, that's awful! So, so you kidnapped this G3 Merc as a bargaining chip to get your prince back? Oh, hmm. Yeah, that's smart. No, we, we didn't think of that at all. But it's fine, we know where the prince is. They swapped him out with the rest of our sacred grounds when they warped in a new base. So you want us to go clear it out and then warp the throne room back? Oh, heavens! Would you really do all that for us? The base is just past this tunnel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is his name really Prince Chosen One? Yes! He was named as such according to the prophecy. And then after that, he was made a good So you trust your leaders to prophecies. Is he a good prince? Well, the prophecy doesn't guarantee he's going to be good at his job. It just tells us who to pick. Look, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Look, now is not the time to criticize us. We're, I'm just, you know, we're distressed as it is. I'm just doing my job. Listen, we're looking for a blank warp disk. Do, do you have any ideas? Ah, uh, yes. Our prince has a stash of them. Really? All you need to do is clear out the warp base the G3 plopped on in our holy land. Then you'll reclaim the sacred grounds and rescue Prince Chosen One. And then he'll give us a blank disk? Yes, oh yes. We can, we can help each other. Oh, what a fortuitous happenstance. Oh. All right, we are off. Oh. Rescue a prince. You know, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. You know, I, I hope he lives up to the hype. Hey, listen, hey, when is a prince ever let anyone down? You know Just what I mean? Just this time. I've been standing the paperwork all fucking day. My brain's melt. I, I fucking hate paperwork. Why the fuck does God that to his always stick me? Oh shit, this must be the place. Okay, let's clear it out. Let's see if there's a 
disc in here. Okay, let's head back outside and use this to reverse the warp. Grateful? Saved me from what? I'm fine. Look, we were told you had some sort of... Oh, you don't want to talk to Prince Jones anymore, huh? Okay, I get it. All right, go away. Let's get back to it. Oh, too good for Prince Jones and what? Let's get back to it. I've got a bunch. Okay, we got everything we need. Let's get back to Ranchi's place and see if he, you know, can help us encode them onto this machine. Prince Joseph, what is the Hey, uh, you're back! Uh, thank God! Thank fucking God! Uh, did you bring my Fergals? Uh, I need a bed. Uh, I need my fix, kid. Uh, I need a bed. I need it real bad. Oh, Jesus Christ! Man, hey, are you alright? Uh, are you are you having a heart attack? Or, or is, it, is it Fergal withdrawals? Does that make you happy? Oh, you love that, don't you? You love to see him. Uh, master of industry, all flummox like this, all low and, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh maybe this is a bad time, but could we use your disc encoder real quick? What? No, the encoder is off limits until I get my goddamn Virgil fix. Virgils, get him. Uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh. Uh, hey, tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and use the disc encoder while you're sort of, uh, stuck on the ground like that, doing whatever it is you're doing. So, don't be mad at us. All right, looks like it's working. I'm in a bed. All right, there we go. Time to warp in Krubus and then, you know, kill him. If, if, if we're able to. You ready? I don't feel so good at all. Please! Give me burgles! Hey, I've got a crazy idea. What if we just swap out this mansion for Krubus' base? Who the fuck are you? Well, I'll be damned. We found Krubus officially. Seems like they have you doing all the boring paperwork 
shit over here so you can't be too strong. out Krubus like that, rescuing me from indentured servitude, etc, etc. I love that kind of stuff. You know what? I love that. That's the kind of stuff I love, man. Do you mind if I tag along with you for a bit? Uh, of course. I, I, that's what I was hoping you'd say. We can use your help. But I should be clear that we are trying to take down the whole G3 cartel, and we might die. Music to my ears. You think I don't want to take down the cartel? Buddy, that's all I want to do. That's all I dream about. Amazing. God, I'm so glad to find another Gatlian alive and well. I love your tiny little by the way, I, I, I had a cousin who had those tiny hands. He died in the zombie apocalypse on Gatlas, but, you know, look, I'm sure you don't want to hear about that. We had to live through it. I mean, you know, who wants to talk about that? Here's what I do. I shoot discs, right? They stick onto certain walls, and you can climb with them. See, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Now climb up there. Aren't you glad you met me? Oh, shit. Time to fight. Oh, okay. I'm gonna ream you. Supposed to be down here. No, 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 don't shoot this guy. Let me show you what else Papa got. Here it comes! Pretty chill, right? Use that whenever you want. It's cool. <laughs> and I see another wall you can climb. You see that, right? Hmm, still a little far away. I'm not sure you can jump to that one. How much you talk when you're dead? Finally! Enough of that guy! They kicked him out of the G3 because he was so damn annoying! He's lonely, he's bitter, and get him right! Freedom, baby! I already felt free when you saved me from Krubus. But now that we're out of the pit, I really feel free. Hey,
action. Who's back? You think I'm supposed to be impressed that you killed a G3 officer? You, well, okay, yeah, fine. I am. I think it's pretty insane you didn't die. That's all you're getting out of me. Now, turn that bounty in. Oh, cool. You got yourself another talking gun? And this one's green? Wow, who cares? No one. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Be rude. My name is Gus. Not that it matters to you. There we go. Look at you. You're getting the hang of this bounty hunter thing already. How'd the mission go? They killed a G3. Looks like I taught them well. Wow. Really? Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, I was I was always hoping you'd find your calling. I just I didn't think it would be bounty hunting. But then again, I don't know what I thought it would be. Maybe hairstyling and not good at it. Hold up, I want to hear this. Uh, like I was saying. And what's wrong with bounty hunting? Ugh. Can you please tell this dried-up sack of shit to go home? I don't want to share a couch with him. Tough titties, Leslie. You're kidding me how to deal. It's Lizzie! And that's not my kid. Jesus, we're siblings. Sorry, I don't know how your species works yet. Sibling, fine, got it. Doesn't change a thing. I live here now. Come on, can't he find his own place to stay? Hey, that's not right. I'm barely taking up any space. You know we had a deal fair and square. Oh, come on! We barely know this guy! You're really gonna side with him over your own sister? Uh, you should be proud! You raised your child to have proper respect for a good, fair business deal. Oh, now I know you're doing this on purpose. I'm the sister, not the mom. But you knew that, didn't you? Sorry. My bad. You come waltzing back in here stinking like dirty Flimborg, of course I'm gonna get distracted. You shouldn't be hanging out with that Flimborg boy, you know? Can't trust that species. Tweak's harmless and nice. You're being spacist. And he's not my boyfriend. Yet. Trust me. Flimborgs are bad news. Come on. Have my back here. Whoa. Really? Uh, you don't have to side with this guy just because he gave you some cool toys. Plus, I feel like he's just using you. Look, I appreciate the loyalty, kid, but I am actually a bit of a spacist. I'm trying to work on it. God, I just don't think I can take much more of this guy. What, you think this is easy for me? If I'm pissing you off, at least you can leave. But my legs don't work. I'm stuck listening to your boy trouble every time I'm trying to watch my stories. I can't even get peace and quiet in my own home because there's an alien cripple jerking off on my couch 24-7. Hey, come on. That's a high estimate. Ew. I was kidding. Yeah, me too. I was kidding. We all know I was kidding. Aren't you going to say anything? Whose side are you on anyway? Hey, uh, all right, I, I, I can see I'm being a little bit of a bother. I mean, look, I'll, I'll try to keep it down when I'm uh, watching my stories. Just don't uh, put me back on the streets. I, I really do want to help you. Fine, he can stay. But only until he finds somewhere else to go. I'm grateful. I mean it. But I've already missed half my program, so can everyone just shut the hell up? Ugh. All right, that's enough excitement for one day. You got more bounties to get to, kid. And you might want to check out the pawn shop to see what you can spend your new payout on, eh? Mm. Oof, that was tense. It's times like these I'm, I'm almost relieved. I don't have any family left alive, but, but not really. I, I miss them a lot. Hey, uh, just so you know, you can use the bounty 5,000 to revisit any planet you've been before. There's portal doors all over. You can just uh, use them whenever and grind for money, look for loot you miss. Whatever. Up to you. Okay, Mamma Mia! What do we find? Hello? Hi, is this Slippo's Pizza? I want a pizza now! I want it right now! Do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever! I need it instant! Hey, yeah! Why are you still delivering pizza by foot? Just zap them! Here's what I'm trying to get away to get you. So I work late. Any 
Listen, I don't care. Just get it to me right What's going now. Down? Never mind. I'm not hungry, guys. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Attention, like we talked about, we've got a customer! That's not for sale. Good eye. That thing's a real beauty. And I'm keeping it. Make sure you bring that around here once in a while so I can see it again. Real cool suit. Where'd oh, you okay. get it here? You gotta exist. Good eye. That th Oh, you like that, huh? Well, it's mine. Oh, hey, get your hands off. That's not for sale. Bring that around here once in a while so I can see it again. For some food. Wink, wink. I can help. Wink, wink, wink. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on. We're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Hurry it up, all right? I love you, right? <laughs> I love you. I genuinely love you. Next time, I'm forgetting. You the owner of this house? It can't be here. Gotta give you a ticket. You better watch your step, kid. I didn't give you all this swag for free. Good luck out there. I'm gonna go explore Blim while you're out there bounty hunting. Hey, be careful out there. Humans are a valuable commodity. Someone might try to snatch you up. I can take care of myself, Gene. Alright, and we didn't start yet, so don't start counting down yet. We're gonna start at 85 in a few seconds. Those seconds do not count as part of the countdown. Here we go, you ready? Getting to do all the numbers. Here we go. Nice! Look at this! Look at me! Look at you! Our first big adventure together. Look at us, a couple. But why they have to be in this busted desert wasteland? Which is a great name for a strip club. But look at this! I wouldn't live here! You know how you see those signs that says, If you lived here, you would be home? Oh! Hey, 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 don't get lost out here. I feel like it's gonna be pretty easy to get lost. If, if your ass don't pay attention, pay attention! We 
vehicles. Weevils ahead. Down for some target practice? These guys suck. They just eat up scrap metal. And trust me, scrap metal tastes like shit. I know. <laughs> you can just kill these guys. Just kill them. speck of a town out there? This is a little speck of a piece of shit out there. That's called Old Town. Although there ain't no old people there, but it's still called Old Town. I mean, it was old before it was new. But we're gonna go there, right? It was the first settlement out here. Like pre-G3. We'll have to pass through there. stuff is toxic and will dan will hurt you so don't go in into it yeah this is probably a lot of fun for you but uh i've been on all, i've been on a lot of adventures and uh i can tell you firsthand that this is uh pretty lame so let, let, let's let's get to the good stuff all right Just past this bridge, you can't miss it. And uh, you know, I'll tell you what, support beams have their spot, but they are not. Whoa, 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 whoa tough guy. Whoa. Hey, 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 look, walking wherever you want. Hey, Some what fucking the fuck? mac and cheese Hands off, construction pal. site. No hey, touching. Hey, hey, but you gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, chill out. We're cool, okay? So how you wanna handle this? Tough guys like this only respect other tough hey, guys. So don't embarrass me. me. You think you can you just walk up into shit. a Mac and Cheese Brothers construction whoa, whoa, whoa. site like you're some sort of fucking Jesus oh, Christ and just fucking here. walk around like oh, you're on the place? There's this. a goddamn what, bottomless what, 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 pit over here, asshole. Hey, hey, you think you can survive that? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what the frig? Hey, 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can't believe this. What, 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 what are we Holy shit, those guys are intense. You know, you could have killed them, right? I would have been fine with that, I think. You got a great fist over here. Ready to go. What 
shot platforming all over the place like some tough guy. Hey, fuck you! Oh, look, the fucking asshole can tether. What did you do? I tried to slip and fall into that fucking pit, you fucking asshole. That's a good time to call Kitty. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I'm, 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 I can help with this. Well, great. You killed all the weird construction guys. Yeah, we're free to move along now like we were before we killed them. Hey, nice work. You know, it wasn't a hard thing, but ni nice work. What's inside? Town's just past this gate. Now I heard it's pretty dangerous in here, so you know, more than likely, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> it's like lawless cowboy land. Very cool though. Maybe someone here can help us find Douglas. Hey, how did that partner? Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? If, if I may say F F M I for my information, what is this place and what's it all about? Well, I just told you it's called Old Town. Back when settlers first landed on this asteroid, we formed a little trading post free from galactic law, where anyone could come and do as they please. Nowadays, Strange Town steals all the thunder, but for a few years there, Old Town was nothing to sneeze at. Oh, I got it, I got it. Old Town is the Old Town, and Drag Town is the New Town. Old Town has heart. Used to serve a real purpose for the people. Drag Town is just a pit of debauchery and drugs. The concern G3 cartel. Just, 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 that's a question I want to ask. Do you know where Douglas is at? Douglas? The, 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 the G3 fella? <laughs> oh, we. He's a rough one. Never seen somebody drink as much as him. Why, just last night, uh, nope, I, I shouldn't speak out of turn. The G3 don't like that none, and I don't like them. Just head down to Dreg Town. I'm sure you'll find them. So where is the entrance to Dreg Town? Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Dreg Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Hey, Grundy, we appreciate it. Unintended. Have a good time in there, young So I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop or get killed. Wink, wink. Oh, okay. I see what's happening here. You want us to kill them? Well, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink. And okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill them, and, and I'll let you through. Look, not to be a backseat shooter, but I got this gear. Look, look here, boys, lucky crew. Let's paint this town whatever color their blood is. Cancel my next leg.
talking, right? Are you looking for glory? Then join the G3 cartel! My name's Douglas, the G3 chief of training and torture. Ignore that second bit for this ad, this was just about the training. Ooh, check it out! That was Douglas! We're hot on his trail! against violence treaty, so no violence allowed here. Take care. Wow, you can really tell the G3 run this place. Great. A whole city hanging under an asteroid. You can really get away with a lot of crime down here. Uh-oh. <laughs> it looks like the G3 are having some grievel trouble. Took you long enough to use me again, Jesus. Okay, shit, I, I guess let's just kill them all. Yeah, I guess. 
<laughs> Damn, I needed that. You wanna get us blown up? Oh, glad we're in a mother's four violence zone. I was missing the violence. What's going on? training facility. Maybe Douglas does the training in person. Okay, listen. Let, let's try to get inside. Sorry, G3 recruits only. No yellow goop armor. No entry. Beat it. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna need to find some way to get in. Enemies of the G3. Random strangers who look to be funny. Everybody. Hey, hey, you can trust me. He's fine. I'm trustworthy, I promise. Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you, you want some goop, right? Uh, you know what? Yes. How about how about a big fat yes? Let's go. Perfect. Head down the alley there and just uh let the magic happen, I guess. Uh, d don't, don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell it all you Oh, this fucking so Oh, my God, the smell! Oh, my God, I'm gonna fucking throw up! Okay, okay, I'm all right. Okay. Oh, my God, th this better fucking work. Hey, look at you. You're all gooped up. I gotta be honest. It won't last long. It's not the real stuff, so you better be quick. Get in, get out. Don't stay in there too long. Don't look. You wanna... What the fuck? Well, oh, looky here. We got another gooped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for any life threatening injuries. Oh, sick! We get to watch a movie! Shut the fuck up, it's starting! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training? Torture? What's the difference, I say? Look to your left. Now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate warp-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. All right, whoa, shut it whoa. off. You see that? Well, Looks like Douglas has a Gatling. We should probably rescue her. Okay, put your G3 face on. This'll be it. Okay, it's time to pop off. Okay. The G3 doesn't stand a chance. Yo, yo.
got your ass. Yo. That was nothing. Good work, buddy. I guess we're all done. Oh. Okay, you beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. Oh, okay. Really? You got hurt? Yeah, that, that looked like it should have been easy. Yeah! Shit, this must be the beginner oh, course. Me, Come on. Let me! Let me! Let me go! You know, uh, listen, uh, you're not gonna impress me if you if you if you get through this, cause it's pretty simple. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> I have a pacemaker? One zap would kill me. Hey, you go on ahead. You know, thinking maybe I should scoop you. <gasps> well, I guess it's apparently harder than it looks. Ooh, fucking get that fucking jump! God damn! That was a little, that, that, we, we made it, that Congratulations, was a little tough, though. Shitheads. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out, to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. What the fuck I look like waiting a whole nother hour? There's gotta be a way we can skip all this part. Okay, finally. Oh, let's just bust out of here and have some real fun. Let's get back to the real fun. Okay, well, there goes that bootleg goop. Uh, I guess that didn't last for very long. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here! My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Oh, no, 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 calm down, bud. You just lucked out. We're on the same team! Let us help! God, I'm so worried I'm gonna, gonna throw up. You really helped me? Oh, gee, I'm, I'm so grateful. Follow me! You gotta connect these pipes for me so I can get through and save my family. Hey, don't worry. This is a classic textbook puzzle situation. I think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out. Don't even worry. Wondrous. I'm forever in your debt. I don't know how I can ever repay you. God, my poor family, my wife, Plimmy, my kids, Swoopy and Droopy. I'm gonna get to see them soon. Hey, come on. We're, we're not gonna shoot this little guy. He's a cute little guy. Don't let's not scare him. My daughter, Swoopy, is so beautiful. I bet you're gonna solve this puzzle in no time. Wow! You did it! You got the door open! Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Hey, don't you fret and don't you mention it, okay? Truly. And, and, and I mean that. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dreadtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Come on, buddy. Hasn't he been through enough? Hey, that wasn't so bad. You think he's gonna be able to get his family back on his own? You walk on top and shoot! Alright! Douglas, here we come! That was the hardest part behind us! This is basically done! We finished this shit! We are fully... Oh, fuck! <sighs> okay... What is this? Congratulations to all of you worms who made it this far in your trip. It is now time for the final test. A bloody free for all. Let you standing get the judge of G3. No rules, just killing. Good luck, shit heels. God damn it, another fucking thing with this. Holy shit, just kill them all. Yeah, good job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know, fight some more guys.
Officially in the G3. Congratulations, graduates on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife plenty calling for me. You're gonna solve this one too. Thank you. Amazing! Amazing! You did it again! Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there! Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as another. Alright, finally! It's been a hot second! There's probably just going to be a lot of violence. An interest. You know what? That looks like Douglas's office, but we can't get in that way. Maybe we can go around back. <laughs> What's up? I, 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 just, just shoot them all.
This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. Here we go. Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to public school? You can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, floppy, and droopy! I'm really, really trying not to think about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices! And it's not working, to be honest! I've decided that if my family is dead, Kill myself and join them in the afterlife. You're a good team! <laughs> you no more idiots! Thank God! Do you know how hard it is to solve a fucking puzzle with a hangover? Well, shit! D does that mean he's. Huh? I, I feel pretty stupid right about now. He was fucking with us! We got played! Look at us! We got played! We fell for it! Damn it! <laughs> Fucking echoing ass voice. Fuck him. I was never Dr. Jupy. There is no Dr. Jupy. Are you shocked, you idiot?
flesh actually it was actually very nice oh ha! all right dipshit let's go what no hello nice to meet you or thank you for saving me why like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me Hi, I'm so much for rescuing me how is that dipshit now come on use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner Best Gatlian, smartest, most useful, best looking. Douglas, oh, it's gone Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that you've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas! Get excited! And get your fucking shit together! Okay, yeah, fuck that! You wanna fuck me, guys? Down, huh? 
great work. But uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. All right, good. Get over here. Ooh, he's in intensive care. That's Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. All about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men look different. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on him. <laughs> That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me. But there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Oh, my God. This is your bedroom? Okay. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. All right, don't do this now. Just go sit down. Woo! 
I'm serious. No more bounties until you get a jetpack from Mr. Keep. My God, you found the kid a drum, right? Hey, asshole! Come over here right now! Sorry, Skelly. Call you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now with Popeye. Illegal shit. Yo, Mr. Geep, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait. Not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. <laughs> ah, pleasure doing business with you. in some quote-unquote food? How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate mister keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a cat nap in. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rule! He didn't shock somebody. Wow, oh, check out that landing. God damn. You, you gotta just come to us and like, ow, oh, god damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I'm gonna fall. Okay, all right, so uh, uh, just go to us and we'll, we'll go fill your shock rod needs. Oh. Okay, just, just, just re Whoops. check us out at www. Uh, maybe let's try that again. Alien protection offensive, making sure that people Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com Jet Crack Pro. 
Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Before Tweed gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even ever been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here while you're off having fun doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. We're all living under the same roof, and that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house, so she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad, and I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? My species eats paper. It's delicious. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweak to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Tweak. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. A moblin! My turn! It's you, the savior! Exactly, yep. Now tell us stuff. Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Don't really care. But just to be polite, where are they? They're working at the end of the house. Just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Cool. Again, don't really care. Ready, Bounty Hunter?
This gonna be something good. something with that scanner. Haha! <laughs> Show off those killer jetpack skills, bud. <laughs> Whoa! Now we're talking! Love that jungle breeze on my face! I can't wait to get back on the ground! <laughs> Now this feels like the right way. Trust me, I can just feel it on my skin.
Labs. You ready for us? Hey, use the zip line. You know how that works. We're going to some big science labs, like a field trip? Why does this feel like we're going on a field trip? I don't like these vibes. We're here to kill. We're here to maim some G3 dirtbags. If you see any science here, ignore it. Just focus on the killing. Welcome to Scranda Labs of... Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're gonna set off the alarm? Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. Elevators on? to do the honors. We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other Whoa. Hmm. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, no shit. Uh, that blood's on your hands, bounty hunter. You're the one who pushed the button. But hey, we all make mistakes. Not even 
Introduction. Here I am. Let's fucking go. Oh shit, that's Gatorol. Feed, feed me some of that. It gives me more energy. It gives me energy back to do more cool shit. Whoa. I'm so down the clown, man. Hello, Jonathan. It's Dr. Gurgula. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. Tell you a small portion. And I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. Well, I promised Garmantua as I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. I don't trust this fucking gurgle and creep. Ow! Ow! Those fuckers. Fuck! These are Gatlians. That hurts! Ah! Hey, dipshit! That goddamn... Is that yes! Z? Let's do it? I said ah! he's dead. The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another Catlian alive in here? Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel! You want in? Oh, no, no, no! They take good care of me! Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah! Welcome aboard, uh, creature. That, 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh, hey, we're locked in. But that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Ah, beautiful. Look out, one of my little fuckers just saved us! Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm not to it. Ow! Oh, that's one of my children! They died fast! Don't worry! Time for me to shine! Oh, sorry to speak up without asking. It's just, you should use me here. Center. Hope that's not annoying to say or anything.
How was that? Was that helpful? Was it helpful that I gave birth to a lot of tiny guys really fast? Hey, is this gonna hurt?
supposed to be porn, but it's like alien porn, so I, I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm watching. I mean, I was able to get off to it, like, after a while. Uh, honestly, now I love it, though. I'm not sure why they want me to jack off this much, but, you know, I'm happy to do it. Like, all the tentacles and the moving parts, it's, I don't know, there's something really endearing about it. Yeah, I, I like it a lot, actually. I mean, if, if I ever get out of here, I, I hope I can, like, bring this with me, at least. I mean, I, I don't even think I could go back to normal porn after this. Nice!
Are you gonna keep running? I wasn't running! Oh, I'm just standing! Whatever! Fuck you! Hello? Seem hard to kill. Sweetie's oh, always the right nice choice. Work. How's it going? Oh, fuck 
Yes, three in one sitting. Each one more visually better than the last. You know what? I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Tormentuous? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are. I want you to know how fucked you made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. Oh, okay, that sounds bad. <laughs> bounty hunter, I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. Uh-oh! I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot! <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill. Myself. Sorry, bounty hunter. We'll stop him, I promise. Well, that was fun. Thanks for having me. Where do we go now? To your home base? Hey, you killed the Screndel brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone else is too traumatized to talk right now. Sorry. We just keep getting captured over and over again, you know? It's a lot to take in. I'm still able to talk because I've been captured the most. I'm just kind of numb to it now. Means nothing to me anymore. You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Twig. You gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. It's not that hard. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Jean. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Hey, right, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. 
Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Twig moving in, right? Hell yeah, that's the right call. Twig's a creep. You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To, <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a bit of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. This is fun! Hey, look at me! I'm the guy who sells stuff. I'm an illegal concessions guy. I like to sell you illegal stuff over here. I don't know if we should get involved with anything illegal. It sounds too scary for me. Hell yeah! Hi. Hey. What? Oh, okay. You got a exit. the best day of your life because tomorrow it's gonna be rock bottom again You're hungry? For some food. Wink wink. I can help. Wink wink wink. When the mask is off, I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy, but I can't hide. All right, here's the skinny. 
You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Our team already has four guns. Isn't that enough? I'm asking for real. I really don't know. Trust me. We need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh, another Gatlian. That's fantastic. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Don't get mad at me for not knowing this, because remember, my brain's been scrambled. But how would we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. I haven't known you very long, Gene, but I respect you more than anyone else I've ever met in my life. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. And Jill came tumbling out. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Detective mode? Hey, what's so skinny on this giblets fella? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Very keen of you, Slam. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? And two and two makes four. Let's do what the suit says, kid. I just thought maybe my mom and dad would be with you. Yes, I have tried everybody now. Well, I told her I'd be here before the end of this week. Okay, I'll try not to. first suspect. We had to find out if they knew anything about Dr. Giblets, but they weren't gonna make things easy for us, see? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. Stop right there, Slick! We're looking for Dr. Giblets. You're gonna help or what? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? You look cool! Can we talk to you? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just, we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Shh, hey, quiet! Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Hi, Blurdo, 
We're looking for Dr. Giblets. Can you help? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. Oh, did we do something wrong? Sorry, should we not ask about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launch is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead. Understood, sir. Yes, sir. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S-rank interrogation! Hell yeah! Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better! The night was getting longer, by the way. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, so yeah. would be at the uh, new high it. Nobody wants to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to me. Oh, oh no. This could be crazy! Oh, you're back. Do you need somebody to go with you? Hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose with... Where to? Wait. Oh, shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Everyone, get him! <laughs> It was getting boring in there. Are you fine? fucking? Did you think it was a good idea to go in here? What's wrong with you? Let's get next. A classic. Oh, now it's hip. Oh, now it's hip to live down here in this sludge, huh?
high on life. Keep the new hyperbar. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer loyalty thing. It's hey, don't worry. Like Detectives can I'm always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Oh, I just hope they don't make the final adapter. High on life store number 7923. Your local hyperbong superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons during the midnight lot. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Dude, go away. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. We fucking know. We know. We know this. We know this. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A Hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop fruit case for your Hyperbong? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Uh, 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 hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick, and uh, I'm gonna be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But you are saying you know him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though, I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is, and you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Look, guys, we've had enough people hassle us today, and we're over it. Can you just fuck off? You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, yeah? he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. Who the hell are those guys? Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Holy shit! 
It looks like someone got trampled to death. Turned them into a fruit roll-up. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Now, I'm gonna toss out a shady idea here. We can use that dead guy's mag boots to climb out of here. Probably isn't gonna get us into space heaven, but those are good mag boots. Hey, and sick Company. Hello there. Oh, hey, you guys were really funny earlier. Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This 
these kids fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. We get to meet a famous guy? Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hello. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Oh, that's a good idea. I think hey, don't go. I want to see that. how this plays out. A dead end. Oh, hey, no. I want to hear this. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. You're being hard to understand. Just tell us where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa. Even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then you want us to, you know... Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Wow, what? That's gonna be helpful, thank you. How'd it go? I think really good. Okay. Clug okay. may or may not have shown us where Dr. Giblets is. I'm a little confused, as usual. It's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Night, when the mask is off. I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm the Archola. I just thought maybe my.
dying. I'm dying. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. We stumbled across another body. It looked like a classic case of... Hey, what happened to you? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A G3 base. That can only mean one thing. Not sure what, though. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Do they still have a chance of survival? Who's to say? No way to know. I've come into him several times. More than we could count. Don't feel bad. It just finally came to him. It's okay. It was the right thing to do. All right, so this is Dr. Giblet's base. Then where's he at? Where's Dr. Giblet's? Well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblet's with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Fine, if we have to. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for. That's what drones are for, they're for combat. That's what someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you, that's what you're doing. Looks like your typical work desk. Nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, I need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. Haha, <laughs> let's go! Howdy there, cowboys! Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives! Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning! This gotta be a old... These must be old hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm back in the next door. All right, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Is that the Gatling we're looking for? They look a little busted to me. Aha! So that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatling to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Ooh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he he was right because that's exactly what we're here to do. So okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. 
Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait a minute, so you had us do all that shit for nothing? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. Dr. Giblets went and killed himself for us. That was anticlimactic. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Yeah, I'm in it, bitch. Dr. Giblets status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Oh, no, 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 no. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. Another ambush. That's detective life for you. So many ambushes. Certainly hurt his feelings. But it's a mistake to think you could just walk 
As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Oh, fuck. That fuck. That's great potential. Yeah. Look at him just hanging there. I hate to say it, but he might be a goner. Let's take him to Gene and see if he can help. I just wanted to say, you know, that today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye. Great, you can't see it. Look at that. You found Dr. Giblet's all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go. Come on over. Let's bow wow. Angelica. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblet's. Um, he is dead. But we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah. He's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? So, how do you do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. Well, you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be. Uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but uh... turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it's pretty embarrassing. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm going to see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, we're, let's find your sister. Look at us, just you and me again, you know? Just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna chat. It's gonna be good. It's gonna, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about this. I don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, well, well, there's something I need to tell you. Whew, this is, this is hard. Just give me a second. Oh, you got this, man. Come on. What are you doing? I'm making it awkward. All right, you, you're talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. Everything in the, in the, in the, in my palace. In my palace. I want to stop everything. 
Hey, I hope you're having a great day, bounty hunter. Huh, you, you never judge me, right? I mean, we're such close partners at this point, you know? Like, nothing I could say could ruin that, right? <laughs> I'm just, just kidding around. Just, I'm just joking around. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm out of my body right now, I think. Broken leg guy still here. See you later. Oh boy, okay, so that um that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and he, you know, back alive. The thing is, oh okay, sorry, sorry, I I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly. Or, or you know, communicate um how we normally do it, right? You know the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh he knows some things about me that that, that the others don't know, and it's a it's nothing too crazy, you know? It's, it's, it's okay, no, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Sorry, I don't mean to be cryptic. I'm just, oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I just don't want you to hate me. I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Tweeg is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, 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 will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just... You know, it, it's gonna weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. You, you, you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Uh, okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd he been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but where, where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and, well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. You no, know, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something. You know. Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course.
You betcha. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So, I led the G3 right to Getless. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know? But they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived. And I, I got him killed in his dying moments. I told him everything. Like I'm telling you now about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet. How I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do, do, do you see my problem, right? It's like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Nothing Help me, please. that sentence. We're in okay, love. We gotta get to them. Hey, get in, pay your bill. Oh, fuck. Okay, this, this, this changes shit. This is bad. I'm here live in downtown Moon City where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you are that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Fuckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. I'm, I'm not a snitch. Hey, what's going on, Holy shit, they're fucking everywhere! Who's 
get to the house. Come on, we gotta get to the fucking house. Surprised to see me, bounty hunter? <laughs> you fucked with the wrong crime syndicate. It's all over. Hand over the Gathlion you stole from us, and then let me hear you. Nice and easy. We know everything about you, and we still have two oh-so-special people who are very worried about you. Thanks for coming back for me. Turn yourself in, and nobody has to get hurt. Well, no, you know, fuck that. It is your fault. You fucked up enormously, but we'll deal with that later. Please, fire up the warp core. We're leaving. Got it. Hey, don't forget. Yes. The one's ready, but see where we go. G3 won't follow. I'll handle them. Can you pull off the Hennison maneuver mid warp to juke them? Can I what? Can you make that up? You mean scramble the warp? Fine, yes, scramble the warp. Bounty to bring me to the warp court. <laughs> Close. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? D d did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus, I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? Okay, okay, I can breathe. Light note, don't do that again. How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. We still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Call show with me, the goopster. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. All right, good night. Hi. Who is this? All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Gene has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little some sum A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. You're welcome.
Let's get to business. I've got something you'll like. You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry. But she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. If you're ready, just step through the portal door. I don't know what I want. Okay, fine. I don't know either. Isn't the sex good? I don't know. I can't even tell if we're doing it right. We're aliens. None of our shit even lines up correctly. You could be pregnant and I would fucking wonder how that happened. My cum goes all over outside of your body. Well, okay. I don't know if it's good either. Your body is really confusing. God, I'm just so confused. Aren't we in love? You're asking me that, dude. You're the one who dragged me out on this trip. I wasn't looking for anything serious. I just wanted to get laid. But even that turned out to be some weird fucking Hellraiser puzzle. Oh, shut up. Don't blame this on me. There's plenty of ways you could have figured out how to use my equipment, so to speak. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah, thank God. You came just in time to save me. Me is who you came to save. Thank you. Fuck your sister, dude. Woo. Cuckoo. Girls, am I right? Love is tough. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. We were a little worried about you. God, everyone needs to chill out. When have you smoked? What, you're a smoker now? Wait, what is it? Camels? Marlboro? 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 I don't know. What's it to you? What do you want? Well, I don't want to come home. It's not even my home anymore. It's Jean's jack-off mansion, and it's your little clubhouse where you can unwind for a few minutes between bouts of, oh, I don't know, murdering criminal gang lords. Hey, I'll go home. You can take me home. How about that? I'm your new sister. Congratulations. Just get me the fuck out of here. No, you're staying, Tweed. We're in love. Say it. Say we're in love. Okay, never mind. I can't go. I have to be in love with your sister. Look, I hate to be insensitive, but it's dangerous out in space for humans right now. We even got chased out of Blimp City by the G3. Whoa, really? Yeah, it was rough. Listen, I get that there's a lot right now that's bothering you, but can we convince you at least to just come home with us and figure it out there? But I'm busy being in love with Tweeg. Uh, yeah, we're busy. Sorry. So just leave. Unless... What else were you worried about? Oh yeah? How? Yeah, how about you just let me handle this on my own? You already decided to become a weird alien killing expert. Don't strain yourself trying to be a dating expert, too. Um, yeah, no offense, but you're kind of butting in, dweeb. Hey, only I can talk to them that way. And look, I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Really, I am. I know you didn't want to. But I just, I wanted to know for sure if if we worked or not. But yeah, it's cool. I forgive you. I just think, oh, oh, really? Even after forcing you to leave with me? Yeah. Okay, it's fine, yeah. Did you know I almost sold you out to the G3? They were offering, like, a lot of pesos to find out where you were. And that would have been way worse. What the fuck, Twig? Piece of shit? Wait, what? You're, you're joking, right? No, I really almost did it. Like, I had my phone out and everything. If Lizzie hadn't dragged me on this trip, I probably would have. I'm not good. I'm a shithead. Lizzie shouldn't be dating me. Gene was right. And it's a little fucked up because he was being a misogynist, but he was actually right. I do suck, and I'm fine with it. That's just who I am, and I love it. So fuck off. Love it. Sue me if you don't like it, but good luck finding a judge who'll take that case or a lawyer. Fuck it. You're a fucking idiot. Well, Jesus, I was about to do a, a whole thing about how we should take a step back and slow things down, but you know what? Fuck you, Tweek. Yeah, th yeah, Tweek. Fuck you. Hey, thanks for coming to get me. Seriously, it, it means a lot. Uh, okay, enough. Let's go. You got it. Smell you later, Tweek.
We're back. You're safe. Uh, I mean, fuck you. And fuck you, too. Okay, happy reunion. Everyone's fine. Can, can we just get back to bounty hunting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clug just sent over the data on Nipulon, so you can head out while I fix Les to it. Did you, uh, know how much firepower this guy's packing? He's gotta be at least ten times as powerful as any of you other Gatlians. Wait, you really think you're gonna be able to fix him? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have them all patched up by the time you get back. You're serious? That, that, that soon? Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Your friend's gonna be just fine. Old Papa Gene watched a bunch of GooTube tutorials, and now he knows his way around cybernetics. That's, that's, that's great. It's, it's just... What? You don't sound too happy. You know how hard I've been working to save this guy? Fuck. Whew, okay. I guess it's now or never, Bounty Hunter. Can you set the other guns down on the table for me, real quick? Hey, everybody. I, I... I need to come clean about, uh, well, sh phew, this is f way tougher than I thought. Spit it out! Yeah, spit it out! No, I I, I can't. I, you're gonna hate me. Dad, th we, we don't have secrets. We're a family! Well, hold on. I might decide to hate him. It's okay, Kenny. You can tell us. Oh, just fucking say it. Okay, fine. If you don't hear it from me, you're just gonna hear it from Les Do It when he wakes up. Okay, what if I were to tell you that I'm the reason that G3 invaded Gatlas and enslaved our race? We'll be mad. I don't think I could get over it. Yeah, don't say that. You know what? It would really suck to hear you say Kenny, that. Kenny, come on. That's not true, right? No, no, no. That would be impossible. Are you doing a bit? Okay, well, there's, there's more to the story than just oh, a... Fuck, he's scrambling for words. It really is true. He really did cause the downfall of our civilization. Kenny, how? That doesn't even make sense. How can it be your fault? I left Gatlas before the G3 invaded. But, but how could that be possible? We didn't even have interstellar travel on Gatlas yet. I ran into an alien smuggler who crashed his ship on our planet, and I was going nowhere, and, and, and he took me with him on these adventures, and it was supposed to be, you know, this fun, awesome thing, and but then we got mixed up doing the wrong job with the wrong crowd. Garmantuous and the G3, and I accidentally led them right to Gatlas. It all happened so fast, I, I thought they killed Les Do It. I, I told him everything as I watched the light leave his eyes. I didn't know he I didn't know he was gonna survive. You mean you didn't think you'd ever have to tell us the truth? No, 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 that's not it. I, I... Oh, this is all sorts of fucked up, Kenny. I don't even know what to say. See? I'm not the biggest fuck up here. Not now, dude. Everyone, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know what I was doing. We're so close to taking down the G3. Let's just Oh, okay. Let's just pretend you're not the reason everyone we know and love is dead, yeah? Sure! Easy! Done! What's next on the agenda? Forgive Garmantuous too? Come on, that, that, that's not fair! No fight! I'm sure we can all figure this out! No creature, he can't just drop that bomb on us and expect everything to be the same! I, I'm sorry! Look, I hate to be this guy, but we're running out of time. Nipulon may not stay where he is for long, so I know things aren't... The ideal, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll finish the job. And then you're out of our lives, Kenny. Come on, Sweezy, you don't mean that. Enough. Just pull yourselves together for this mission, at least. You're professionals. You're bounty hunters. Act like it. Mm hmm Fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Gather everyone up. It's time to get back on track. Nipulon just flew back into his drug lounge on Port Tarine. So we got a strike now. Can you handle that? She, meanwhile, with strawberry lips controlled. Let's just get this over with. I guess that really puts things into perspective. Moist. Hey, thanks again, and good luck. And Stay safe out there. Conscience in my coaches. Woof! That was a doozy, huh? It's just one thing after another, isn't it? I don't know about all that, but uh, I'm glad you got your sister back. Thanks for doing that. So fair, so bold, so shy. And so robust that impotent angels damn themselves for me. Okay, we just need to sneak into Nipulon's lounge. Let's try. Can it, traitor? We'll handle this one. We don't want you selling us out. Kitty, do us all a favor and sit this one out. Hey, stop fighting! I hate it when everyone's fighting! We need to talk things over in a healthy way. No, 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 no. We just need to cover ourselves in goop again. It's not complicated. That's true, we should do that. But I also think we need to have a really fun time at the saloon. So go there first, please. Uh, whatever, it's, it's up to you, Bounty Hunter. Head over to Drake Town to get gooped up or try hashing this out of the saloon. Everyone will be 
fighting for? Forever? I hope not forever. Yahoo! Oh, you're going with my plan? It's an honor. I will not take this lightly. Shall we take a seat at an open table? Okay, creature, this was your big idea. What is there to even talk about? Thank you, everyone, for coming today to the inaugural Big Friendship Meeting. First item on the agenda is... You don't have to do this, creature. No, no, I insist. Kenny doesn't deserve any of this hate, right, Bounty Hunter? Well, thank you, but I, I, don't, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, you didn't know what you were doing. Just because he's an idiot doesn't mean he gets off scot-free. Yeah, people died. We don't have a home anymore. No, no, stop it! I mean... Let's be civil here. We're friends. Are we? Most of my friends don't trigger global genocides. Well, I don't know if that's the best way to phrase it. Oh, yeah? How would you phrase it then? Lightly assisting a global genocide? I didn't know. I, I didn't know what would happen. Oh, fuck off. Like, that makes it any better. But he's also trying to stop it. He's trying to make things right. We all are. It's not, not like he has much choice. You think he's doing this because it's the right thing to do, Bounty Hunter? Thank you, Bounty Hunter. At least you have my back. I have your back too, Kenny. Yeah, thanks, Creature. Yeah, but we don't. Yeah, we still hate you, Kenny. Creature, this isn't getting us anywhere. No, it's going perfectly. It has to be going perfectly, otherwise I'll be sad. Then be sad, Creature. Tough shit. You could just blame Kenny if you want, like we're doing. It's pretty easy. Can we just bail on this little group therapy session we got going on here and get back to the bounty, which is more important? Honestly, I'm right there with you. Yeah, th th this, is, this is a lost cause. No, it's not a lost cause. Is it, Bounty Hunter? Yes, we will. Yeah, look, look, fine. Maybe. Maybe. But let's just deal with Nippalon first, okay? Can we do that? Whatever. Are we done here? Can we go, Bounty Hunter? Sorry about that. I just wanted to help. No can do, partner. See, my little gooper trooper here is sick as can be. Looks like he's not gonna make it. Truth be told, I don't think he'll ever be gooping anybody ever again. Unless we get him that medicine. Medicine? Oh no! That's so sad! That's breaking me up inside. We'll help out however we can. Oh, no way! Thank you so much! Wow, that's so nice of you. There's a special flower over there on uh, the other side of Terrine Ravine. But good luck getting over there, because that ravine is tearing through the valley, if you know what I mean. Those damn mac and cheese brothers are taking forever to build the bridge. I mean, if you could get them to do their jobs, then maybe we could get the flower and save my little Goopa. I think we can make that happen. No promises, but we do a lot of really crazy stuff like all the time, and it's usually fine. Well, shit. I don't want to give my hopes up, but thank you so much. Hey, you want to see my Kenny impression? Huh? Um, um... Can, can, can you stop by the G3 headquarters real quick so so I can sell out all my friends? Kenny's still our friend. No, it's fine. Let him go nuts. Wait, I can do one too. Oh, uh, nobody loves me and I suck. Uh, I'm a piece of shit. It's a fucking tragedy. Hey, me too. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, Buster. What? Okay, so you're not leaving, are you? You're just fucking barging in. What do you want from us? We want to cross. Let us cross. Well, tough luck. You, you, you think you own the world? You want to get across the ravine? You got to wait for us mac and cheese brothers, brothers to do our work. Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, that's a shame. There's really nothing we can do? No, sorry, pal. Listen, we got our own emotional shit right now. You know, we're, we're on strike until Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers, you know, he comes back from that goddamn saloon in Old Town. And he tells us he loves us Mac and Cheese Brothers, his sons. Oh, uh, I'm sure he does. All right, listen, we just need to hear that he loves us. That's it. We ain't working until we find out, okay? Hey, we're the Mac and Cheese Brothers. Yeah, you can't do shit. You're, you're a piece of... Hello, friends. We're looking for Papa Mac and Cheese. Hey, do you know Papa Mac and Cheese? Eh, don't look at me. 
I mean, don't let him see you looking at me. Hey, how are you? Do you know Papa Mac and Cheese? Never heard of him. And if I had, I'd keep quiet. Hey, do you know Papa Mac and Cheese? Watch yourself. Don't want to go get yourself in trouble. for Papa Mac and Cheese. You best mind your own business. Please, for, for everyone's sake. Hey, you there. Yeah? I'll tell you what Papa Mac and Cheese is. If you do this guy. What? No, not me. Please, pick anybody but me, please. Sure, yeah, why not? You know the rules. Stand five feet apart, count to three, then draw. Last man standing wins the fuck a duel. Come on, man. I, I don't want to do this. Come on, it'll be fucking fun. Go on, then. Get to your mark. Perfect. Here we go, then. Jeez. I'll count you down. Shoot at each other on fucking draw, all right? Three. All right, we got this. Two. I believe in you. I think. One. Fucking draw. Two. That's some quick trigger finger you got there, fuckface. Oh! Th thank you! Is he, is he gonna be okay? Oh yeah, he's dead, but it's fine. Ooh, a piece of shit. Anyway, sorry about all that, I was just fucking with you. It's fun to do a whole Big Ten shootout thing, you know? Yeah, we love Anyway, I'm Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers. What can I do you for? You got some dumb shit, right? We met him. Oh, is that so? Yeah. And how are those good boys? Let's show them this guy! Say, huh? Does he love us or not? Parents are tough, but I really believe your dad loves you. Hard exterior, soft, creamy interior. You know, that's what parents are. Holy shit! Did he? Did he really say that? Yeah. yeah he, yes. Yes. He. Yes. He did. Oh my god! I'm. Oh my god! I'm freaking out, you guys. He. He fucking loves us. You hear that? He. Uh, Papa. Papa loves us. God, I can't handle whatever I'm feeling. It is. It is. What is? Is this? Is, is this love? Is this what love is? Oh god! I, I yeah. can't handle whatever this feeling is. Is this? Oh my god! Oh. Is, is this love? Wow. That was beautiful. I ain't never seen oh, nothing like this. Beautiful. We'll see ya. Oh, can't believe it. Okay, we made it happen. Now, now let's get this back to the goop cell. You did it! 
This will save my little Koopa's life. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. It was easy, man. Don't mention it. Okay. Oh, my God. He's good as new. You really saved his life. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Oh, that's right. He could shit his goop all over you. <laughs> wow, you healed him up so nice, his goop's gonna last even longer than before. So you're gonna be cutting the shit for such a long time. That's great. Oh, Gross. Don't open your mouth. I just tasted some. And it actually tastes good, but that only grossed me out even more. Gooped G3 Minion. You must be here for your one free spa day. Please enjoy your stay. Not in my fucking wildest dreams would I believe Kenny's plan would work. Appreciate So far, so good. We're doing great. This plan is gonna work perfectly. Let's just keep our heads down and find Nipperline. A guest, please allow me to show you to a private booth, right this way. Oh, nice. Let's just play on. We do hope you'll find your time here satisfactory. Remember, we're here to cater to your every need. You name a drug, we have it. Zero G, Fergals, and yes, we're now serving every type of human. We've got young teenagers if you're looking for something big, or perhaps you'll prefer the gentle heart of an elder human years away from death. If you're not sure, babies are a little more heady. It's less of a body height. Basically, whatever you're looking for, we've got it. Ah, the main atrium. You can see how much of a good time everyone is having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do the trap as here. Oh, oh fuck. God. So high. I think you want to collapse. I'm going to swear I can't remember. I don't know what's the last thing you remember. You can suck these humans dry way too fast. Winner! Bring me six more humans! More babies if you got them! I like them best young and easy. And now, <laughs> please follow me to your booth. humans when I get a chance? Of course, sir. I hope you don't mind sharing your booth with another guest. We're a bit overbooked today. Sorry. Yeah, you ever try human? Shit's amazing. Ooh, yeah. Look how dumb they look. All hair and weak. You're lucky they can't be so fucking hot. Otherwise, they'd be a waste of the species. Oh, fuck. I love seeing the light leave their eyes. Okay, let's just go for it, okay? We're behind you on this. We got your back. What's wrong? Why are you giving me that look? Oh, what the fuck? Let me get it! All right, it's on! How are they going? You are balls right now. Let's just push through to Nippola.
But my adrenaline is way up right now. What's going on? We'll see you shortly. Just, you know, can I get you anything? <sighs> oh, hey, Helen. New job? Yep, you keep killing all my bosses, so I have to keep finding new ones to work for. <laughs> Why don't you take a seat for a moment? Good idea. Let's rest those legs of yours. You put in. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. But uh how much longer will he be? Any minute now. We appreciate your patience, thoughts and prayers. 
Mars. Hey, Kenny, you want to skip the boss fight and just give ourselves up to Nipulon? Let him kill your friends for old time's sake? Great, just what I needed. Some more time to sit and feel like shit. Uh, uh, you do understand why we're mad at you, right? Yeah, no shit, and, and, and I'm sorry. You don't think I'm sorry? Guys, not in front of Helen. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> I love overhearing stuff. I call it the Erie Canal. <laughs> I want the... <laughs> I don't know what I need to do to prove myself to everyone, but I'm sorry for my part in how things played out. I suffered too. I'm still suffering. Ugh, save the waterworks. Let's just stop the G3, and then we'll never have to see each other again. No holidays, no celebrations, no birthdays, no anniversaries, nothing. That's not what we want. It's what I want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Understood. Okay, Nipulon will see you now. Well, look who it is! The big bad bounty hunter! Finally paying me a visit. You don't get it, do you? Just like me. Probably gonna lose your legs too. I used to be something. Now look at me. Don't fool yourself, kid. This is your future. You're just Gene 2.0, and you're going straight down the drain like I did. You really think so? That's what I used to think too, kid. I thought I was invincible. About the hunter. Sounds like such a cool job. But really, you're just a glorified garbage man working freelance to take out the trash for anyone willing to pay. Risking your body. For what, kid? So you can lose your legs and find yourself all alone with no one to help you pick up the pieces because you killed everyone you ever met? Does that sound good to you? Maybe. Sure. Fine. That's a good point. Okay, you got me there. You conquered this part of your drug trip. Good work. All right. Go make sure you save the world, and then if you suffer, it'll be fine. I guess. Is that the uh, moral here? All right. See you later, kid. We gotta go deeper. So let me get this straight. Your mad humans are just drugs to be shipped around and sold off? Well, that's how things work, moron. It's a circle of life. We're just making the best of it. Be mad at evolution, not us. Yep, it's me again. <laughs> a whole lot of me. That's a lot of Nipulon. You think any of them are real? Hey there, behave. <laughs> All right. Let's see how many hours you like in Fortnite or uh, Minecraft. Do you play those games? I'm trying to do that. You can actually access your play data. Uh, let's just say you played 90 hours of Rocket Wow. Lucky all of you is finished. One of me moving into the Gaku. Big deal! Let's say you tackle and have a combat with your inner demons. Oh, hey, Lizzie! Hey, idiot! You need to come.
come talk to me? Or do you really think you're doing this to save humanity? You do realize you're just playing the hero, right? Everyone else is dying, but you get to run around space with your little toys, pretending to be the savior of the universe. You're not a hero, you're selfish. This is all about you. Oh, sure, and you think you're the only one who can do that. You think they don't have, like, space institutions in place to deal with villains like the G3 cartel? I'm actually asking. I have no idea. I barely know anything about space. It doesn't matter. The point is, this is all about you. You didn't do anything with your life, and now you want to play pretend hero. Well, guess what? It might actually be working. I mean, I don't know anyone else who's doing anything to stop the G3. This might actually be... It might be the right thing for you to do. Oh my god. You! You really are humanity's only hope, aren't you? Fuck. Keep going to you can't go deep. Is there an end to deeper? Is, when, 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 when does deeper end? Is there a, is Does deeper end? Or does deeper keep on going deeper and deeper? How you doing? Need some motivation to keep going? How about an award? Here, take this one that says you spent all your in-game playtime at an alien strip club. Oh, that's permanent, by the way. Everyone on your friends list can see that forever now. How are you holding up? Facing some dark truths? Maybe things are a little confusing? Well, I'll make it clear. You're our brother! Ah, and I'm helping you learn your place. What's, what's happening? What's happening? All the different ones are back. How did we get more nipple lines from the original nipple lines we had earlier? How did we get more nipple lines? Yeah. <laughs> hey, here's the hat on. Switch to the other controller port. You won't be able to hurt us. Just kidding. There aren't any controller ports anymore. Was that even the real me? God, you really had to corrupt go. How much longer can you hold on to your sanity? Looks like you're having enough trouble just keeping your little band of hero guns together. Where, where, where did everyone... Oh, Bounty Hunter! I'm literally so happy to see you again. You have no idea. I was for real freaking out. Oh my god, you found me. I was freaking out. I, I was worried. I was worried I'd lost you. There's my buddy. There we are. I was on the fence for a minute there, but deep down I knew you wouldn't leave. About time. How'd you even manage without me, huh? Another blank void. How the hell do we get out of this? I ain't Kenny, 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 what is it now? I I don't know. Oh, Kenny. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry I let everyone down. I, I was selfish and stupid, and I beat myself up for it every single day, and I'm so glad I found all of you because you've given me reason to live again. <sighs> well, don't get all mushy about it. I, I, ju I just, I just want to make things right. You can. We all can. Well, to be honest, I'd given up on everything before you guys came along. Before I found all of you. But now we're a team. And we're unstoppable. God damn it. He's right. You you mean you mean it? Yeah, dumbass. We've all made mistakes. I mean, not Kenny level planet-wide genocide mistakes, but we've all made mistakes. And there is no way we're letting your big, big fucking mistake keep us from taking down the G3. So let's kick some fucking ass together. Yeah, that sounds good. Everything they just said sounded really good and smart. I love you all so much. You're the first real family I've ever had. Except for my little kids I spawn and shoot at bad guys. And the family I probably had before the G3 fucked with my brain and ruined all my memories. Let's do this, bounty hunter. As a family! Thanks, everyone. Let's fucking do this. All right, that's it. I'm going to erase all your game data now. I can do that, it's easy. You'll have to start all over. Here we go. You ready? Okay, did that work? No? Shit, you're still here? I don't actually know how to do that. Never mind, forget this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kitty, I feel bad. And, and, I, and I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, me too. I love you guys. Bounty Hunter, what are you doing? We, we, we have to get those Earth coordinates. Okay, the Earth coordinates should be logged in here somewhere. Fuck oh. yeah, Biatch, we got them. Oh, okay. All right, I'm good. Let, let's let's cut a nipple off. Let's do it. No, no, no! Wrong wire. Wrong wire. Shit. Careful, you old bag of shit. You've already messed up everything else in your life. You don't want to mess this up too. No, shut up. Like you'll want to talk after your little Winnebago honeymoon. How am I? I'm more worried about you. Are your guns still all uh, mad at each other? You all gotta get on the same page if you want to be garmantuous. I don't want you to fuck this up right at the finish line. Whoa, be, be, be careful with him. Real smooth, Gene. That's supposed to happen. I know, I meant that sincerely. I just don't know actually how to be nice to you. Gene almost killed your super gun all over again. Don't listen to her. I'm about to do some real Frankenstein shit here. Oh god, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look him in the eye. That's fine. I think we accidentally severed his optic nerves earlier. What are you staring at, dork? Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, I thought you were actually gonna say something nice. Yeah. Or maybe thank you for watching all these GooTube tutorials on Gatlian surgery while you were out cutting off a guy's nipples. Fine, thank you. All right, almost got it. Stand back, everyone. Here we go. Is he? Wait for it. Let's do it. Les, is that, is that you? Let's do it. Oh, I might have fucked up his speech sentence too. Let's do it. Let's do it. Talk to me. Let's do it. So what, all he can say is his name? This is sad. Listen, everything else I did was perfect. He can shoot, he can think, he can shit, he just can't talk right. But he's all in there, right? Like, he knows who I am? Let's do it. Les, I, I can't. Let's do it. I'm so sorry, I... Let's do it. I can't believe I didn't have to tell everybody what I did. Kenny, are you kidding me right now? Fuck off, Kenny. Kenny! Fuck off. What? What? I end? I'm happy to see my friend, okay? Fuck! See, I'm not the worst scumbag here. Wow, this is really it, huh? Let's do it! You got the Earth coordinates, right? It's time for your final mission. Hey, kid. Looks like we made a pretty good team. It's been quite the journey. <laughs> this might be the end of the line, so make sure you finish up everything you wanted to do before we head back to Earth. You, uh, ready to go? All right, then. You're gonna need Les do it. All right, let's do it. We got this. Let's do it. Let's walk this house back to Earth. Let's do it. Okay, dude, we get it. Let's do it. Before you go, come talk to me. I got one last thing. Once you step out of the house, we're gonna walk away to safety until the deed is done. That means you'll be on your own. No, not alone. The power 
sure if Gatlas will be on a, uh, at our side. Yeah, no shit. We know that. I'm just... Uh, God, it was just a figure of speech, Kenny. Look, our Mantuas is tough. You might not be able to beat him even with Lesdort. So, if push comes to shove, use this. What is it? A remote atomizer bomb. Intel says Garmantuas has thick skin like armor, but if you can get this inside him somehow, then trigger it remotely? Well, let's just say his guts should still be easy to fuck up. This'll blow him up for good. You really think we're gonna need that? No, no. Just don't want you to die. You are happy now? Happy that you forced me to admit I give a shit? Just take it. This thing was hard as hell to find. Thanks, Gene. You know, we, we, we care about you, too. Okay, cool. Fuck off. Good luck. Don't you dare fucking die on me. We'll be waiting to celebrate with you when you're done. Shit, this is... This is awful. But, but there's still time to save your people. Let's do it. Yes, exactly. Let's do it. Let's do it.
How's everyone feeling? We're, we're almost there. There, there, there. There's no time for feelings. Let's just focus on killing Gamatuas. Yeah, not the time for chit chat, Kenny. Oh, come on. You're not still mad at you? Look, it's complicated. I'm kind of mad still, yeah. Yes, it's complicated. We all love you, Kenny. It's, 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 it's complicated. Like I said the first time, it's complicated. Well, we had that powerful shared drug experience together, and we, we, we learned so much about ourselves and, and working together. Look, and Kenny, we, we... there's a lot of shit to work through here. We're not going to solve it in one drug trip. Maybe we did, though. You know we're here with you, Kenny. You're, you're, you're practically family, and, and we mostly only have each other. But it's not that easy. Yeah, so let's just kill Garmantuas and see where things go from there. We'll completely forgive you after we kill Garmantuas, Kenny. We should... That's not true. But it's not... Not true. Okay, I, I get it. Let, let, let's just do this. Let's do it. And I'm here too. Knifey, your friend. Remember me? This one's all me. Let's do it. Okay, give it to me straight, guys. Do you really think we can beat Garmantuous? With let's do it? Yes. Big time. He fucks shit up. We're unstoppable. Yeah, I guess. We can do this, Kenny. Creature's right. We can. We can do this. I hope so. I just don't... I don't want to let everybody down again. I'm just glad I can help, too. Should be good. Now pull out and let's blow this fucker up. It's time for the G3 to become the G0. Suck my ass. Okay, what's wrong? Is, 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 is it broken? God damn it, Gene, the remote's busted? Oh, shit. Oh, hello. You're fucking done. Now it's time to make you really suffer. Let's make a deal. If you give up and turn yourself over to me, then I won't harm the two people you love most in this world. Fuck, he's got your parents. Behold! Uh, hey, it's me, Jack Black. Hi, I'm Susan Sarandon. Do we know you? Huh? Are those your parents? Parents? What, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't think the bounty hunter even knows these people. Yeah, we don't. But it's so nice to meet you. So what? You don't love these two? Because every human I asked said they loved them. Well, yeah, everyone loves us. I'm sorry, Bounty Hunter. I'm sure your parents are still out there somewhere, you know? They're alive. I I, I can feel it. Fuck <laughs> it, Bounty Hunter. Enough fucking around. Let's finish this. Order of things. 
hope for a miracle? I I have an idea. Oh, fantastic! The, the, the bomb might still be functional. I know a way to detonate it. I knew you'd figure it out, Kenny! I'll go inside of his asshole, and I'll detonate it manually. Oh, that's not good. Kenny, that would mean... Yeah, I know. Kenny, we're not letting you do that, okay? There's gotta be another way. Can you think of anything? Actually, no. I can't. I guess this is the only way. You're gonna blow both yourselves up? Kenny, you might die! I... I know. Hey, bounty hunter. Fighting alongside you has been... Well, it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you for giving me the adventure of a lifetime. Now shove me deep inside that monster slug's dirty asshole. Kenny! I want to do this. I, I need to do this. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess this is goodbye. You're the best bounty hunter I've ever seen. And you're an even better friend. See you later, pal. I'll always be with you, and I love you. Oh, 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 shit, it's done! Commander Wilson's is dead! He's fucking dead! Rest in peace, fucker. Good work, bounty hunter! What about... There's no way they could have survived that. What a noble sacrifice. I can't believe it. No fucking way. Oh my god, they survived. They made it. Let's do it. I'm... I'm alive? Is Garmantu is dead? We owe you big time. The whole universe owes you. Now you're a fucking hero. I'm so glad you made it. We did it! <laughs>